What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. What is Amani Jelena? I should probably come up with a better intro. What do you guys think? Yeah, comment yes if I should. Okay, but uh, as you can see from the title, this video is all about if your business is not making money, if you are failing as a business owner. I'm sorry to say it in in such just straightforward words, but if you are failing as a business owner, this video you want to see. Okay, before we start, I'm gonna send you guys back to this video right here. And this video right there is just basically all about my webinar tour, the hustle tour that starts uh, November 14th. But if you want to look more into it, I definitely recommend you watch that video. Or you can also check the description box. The very first tour date is November 14th. And it's basically all about launching your business. So if you are interested in launching your business and being prepared for the year 2020, which is exactly 10 days from now, check out this webinar or um, look into this webinar because you will learn so much information from you'll receive vendors, packaging vendors, business development templates, workbooks, all type of stuff within this particular webinar within the hustle tour okay i'm like all for this i'm super excited i've never done anything like this and it is I, for one i love teaching you guys so I don't know, I'm rambling a little bit, but I do. I enjoy teaching you guys. I enjoy your encouraging words, all that good stuff. So now, since I haven't had, you know, webinars in ages, I'm basically, I basically soaked up so much knowledge and now I'm ready to release it all to you guys. You got to learn. In order to have success, you have to be a learner as well. So look into it if you are. The date is November 14th. Or if you are ready to get your ticket right now as we're speaking, it's the very first link in the description box. Go check it out. Go read, read up more about what this webinar is about. And I'll see you at the webinar, okay? But back to this video. This video is basically all about if you're not making sales, if you're not making sales, if you're failing, or if you want to call it failing as a business owner, if you're thinking about closing your business, yes. You guys know the drill. All the notes are in my phone. These are potentially some reason, some reasons um, as, as to why people, as to what could possibly be stopping people from purchasing from your business or from your brand, okay? So the very first thing that I'm gonna say is your website isn't user friendly. That is very common. And the, that is something super common. If your website is not user friendly, you're going to steer people away from purchasing from you. And when I say user friendly, I may, I basically mean that it's not easily navigationable. You don't, if some, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I go to some of my clients' websites, especially if we're working on sales and things like that. And excuse my French, but shit is everywhere, okay? Things are everywhere. Buttons are everywhere. Colors are everywhere. The color scheme isn't matching. Things like that gear steer people away from purchasing from you in all actuality, whether you want to believe it or not. That's like me. If I'm going to go to a website, if, for instance, I'm going to purchase a TV and I go to Best Buy's website and Best Buy's website looks like trash, I'm not going to purchase from it, even though it's Best Buy. So it's all about if you won't buy it from your own website, you got to just, you know, take that on the chin that no one else is going to buy it if it doesn't look presentable. So that's what it's all about, making your website look user-friendly and super pre presentable. Something else kind of bouncing off that is going to be your website isn't mobile friendly. Now, a lot of the times when websites are created, depending on which maybe website builder that you decide to make your website through, whether it's Wix, Big Cartel, um, Shopify, things like that, they have a conversion where they just convert your desktop version of your website to a mobile friendly version but not every website builder does do that and sometimes you still have to go in behind the scene and tweak things because everything doesn't just line up how it's supposed to be so that's something that you need to make sure almost 80 percent of the people who are on your website are nine times out of ten going to be web or going to be mobile users. So you need to make sure it looks good from your cell phone as well as a 
desktop computer. When I'm designing websites for people, that's something that I deeply, deeply look into because I personally know a lot of people make purchases from their phone or I personally know that a lot of the traffic is going to be from a mobile device or even like some form of a tablet or an iPad. Not everyone is just jumping on a desktop 24 seven. So you need to make sure everything looks good from all proportions, all angles, different different size screens and things like that. The next reason your business could possibly be failing or you're not making money or people aren't purchasing from you is simply because lack of trust building factors. And I, when I say that, I personally mean you, I'm sorry to say, but you have, you or someone else close to you needs to be the face of your brand. If for instance, you have this brand and there's no life behind this brand or this, or it seems robotish and things like that, especially if it's a small brand, it steers people away just because they want to know that their money is, you know, if, if I'm going to pay for this, I want this. And I have to be in order for me to grasp the concept that I'm going to purchase this product from you. I need to be able to trust you and or your brand. And some of those ways you can build trust is by having a nice website, by jumping on live, showing your face, making a YouTube channel, putting more so intimate videos of you running your fingers through your hair or showing your products and, and all that good stuff that brings personality to your brand for one but it also brings a trust factor so if you are if you have a business or are in the process of starting a business make sure you implement that trust because the more trustworthy your business is the better outcome you'll have when it does come to pe people making purchases through you i've said this numerous times in my videos people don't purchase products people purchase the person behind the product if that makes sense for instance and we're just going to throw out a scenario Rihanna. When Rihanna launched her makeup company Fenty, people jumped on it right away because Rihanna is Rihanna. Rihanna is a pop star, a superstar, things like that. So people aren't exactly purchasing her makeup because there's a billion other brands who probably has the same quality, amazing makeup as her line does. But people are purchasing her in support of her because they like her, because they like what they see. So you, you need to think about that when it does come to your brand as well, because people are ultimately purchasing you, purchasing what you have to offer, purchasing the, the face behind your brand. So just take heed to what I'm saying. Think about it. Sleep on it. And if you aren't, jump on live from time to time. Put a personal picture of you, up of you from time to time. Send out your newsletters with, you know, either videos of you or, the, you know, someone on your team that, um, you know, that, that's showing the products, putting their fingers through the products, actually speaking with the different viewers and potential prospects that could be purchasing from you. Now, the last two things that I'm going to say is making is one thing making it easy for your companies to get help make sure to, make sure that you're uh, responding back to those emails or make sure that you're sending out automated emails when people can get responses and things like that because if for instance someone like right now if i'm on your website and i want to purchase three bundles but for some reason i just have a question about the closure i should get with it if i can't reach you if you don't have a phone number if you don't have an email I'm not going to purchase from you just because I have a question and I can't even get a simple response, whether it's now or later. So that'll steer me away. So that's some things that you guys need to think about as well. Make sure that you guys have all of your ducks in a row as far as contact information, times that you can be contacted, when you can either receive a um, a call back, a call back, your customers can receive a call back and things like that. So make sure you set that up. Now, the final thing that I'm going to say, it's really two things, but I'm going to mesh it into one. Uh, shipping rates are either too high and or your site is not secure. And when I say secured, if you go to your website and there's not a little lock box on your website, that personally means if someone goes to your website, makes a purchase on your website, their credit card information, personal information can go to whomever pulls it ultimately but if it does have a little lock box in it that basically means all of it that you know their privacy is respected their credit card numbers are not going to be stolen tampered with or anything uh so definitely make sure your website is secured and if it isn't get it secured okay now when i say shipping rates are too high ultimately when so if i'm going to make a purchase and i'm making a 200 purchase for three to four bundles of hair 
and 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 on the website it says two hundred dollars but then once i get all the way past checkout my total then goes up to two hundred and seventeen dollars because you have um a fifteen dollar i'm just throwing out numbers because let's say you have a fifteen dollar shipping fee and then you also have a three dollar tax charge that's going to steer me away because i feel like i'm losing out on money but this is just from a customer's perspective but when i revert back to my business you know to my ownership mindset it's it's the norm you know you're gonna have to pay for shipping you're gonna have to pay taxes things like that but as a prospect's perspective it seems like a lot it seems like i'm getting charged so much for no reason ultimately so one thing i want you guys to work on if you do if you are having that issue and maybe you feel like certain prices are too high or if certain um shipping costs are too high Shameless plug, but November 24th, I'm having my branding, branding your hustle. And it's all about pricing. It's all about branding your business and things like that. So if you're having this particular issue, you need to be at the webinar. And I'll leave everything below in case you want to check out and read more information about the hustle tour that starts November 14th. I'll leave it below. Check the description and you can read more information regarding it. But you can you need to go ahead and reanalyze your prices and somehow implement that tax maybe into your bundle prices or somehow implement that shipping cost into your bundle prices so it doesn't seem like your customer is paying so much money at the very end because that could steer someone away as well. But hope this hope this video was super beneficial for you guys don't forget the hustle tour goes in effect november 14th get your tickets all the information will be below in case you just want to read up on it see what your girl is offering but i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video and if you haven't go ahead and check out this video right here all about the tour can you guys not tell i'm super excited about this tour i'm like I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure all of my friends are tired of me talking about it. My mother is probably tired of me talking about it. My momager, you know, she's probably tired of me talking about it. But I'm super excited. It's the end of the year. Tax season's coming up. You know, it's time to get this ball rolling for your business. But yes, I don't want to talk you guys' ears off. But I love you. And I will see you later. Bye.